Next, let us go ahead to the Analysis tab and understand about the analysis cases that we can generate in Midas Engine. Firstly, we will see the analysis settings. Here, you can go to the Mesh tab and you can control on the mesh that the program will automatically generate while it is performing the analysis. There is a Solver tab to increase the number of processors or to use the GPU accelerator which can increase the speed of analysis. We can generate the load combinations before performing the analysis. RC member and here let us change the code from Eurocode to British Standard by clicking on this toggle box change it to British Standards and click on OK. So strength and serviceability load combinations are required to be generated which can be automatically done by the program. Envelopes can be added automatically and close. In Midas Engine, we can create a number of analysis cases. You can select what part of the structure is to be analyzed, which supports are to be included, masses if any you would like to exclude or include, or and the loads as well. You can choose which ones you would like to include or exclude. For example, you would like to go for a complete analysis with load combinations for uh, dead loads, live loads, wind loads and earthquake loads and another one you would like to include the imperfection instead of the wind loads. So such kind of analysis cases can be generated and the entire analysis case can be used to perform the design further. If you would like to do modification in the analysis case, you can see though that case generated under the analysis tree menu, right click, modify. So I would like to right now unselect the imperfection loads and check with the wind load. And we can create another analysis case. Now let us go ahead for the analysis. Save it. The program is mentioning that some members analysis type requires to be modified. That will be automatically done by the program. So it is asking for us if it's okay. And we can click on yes if we are fine with it. So here basically this particular slab element that we have generated or we have created has got a shear wall in between. Therefore, this slab is not going to remain a typical membrane type of slab. It will be automatically modified into a plate type of slab. And this plate type of slab will have a mesh. We can see this mesh from here. Now let us look at the analysis results. We can look at the deformed shape of the structure by checking on deform. And we can look at the results for each and every load set. So if you look at the deformations for dead load set, just double click on the result and you can see the condition of the or deformation of the structure. The other type of results are reactions. So you can see the vertical reaction. Let's undeform and check the values. Again, in the values, we can choose to see all the values. So these are the values. Let us undisplay the reference grid lines and also let us undisplay the loads, lateral loads. We can change the subcase, our load set from here. We can look the results for the wind loads and also for the combination. In the combination we can look for the strength envelope, so RC envelope strength max is the result we can look into and the highest reaction is 3840 which we can see from this legend. 
Let's get back to the analysis results tree menu. That's about the reactions. We can see the applied forces at every node because of the dead load. And then there are diagrams for the beam forces. Now beam forces uh, basically would not just provide the result for the beam members but also the column members. So actual forces would show us the results which are usually in case of columns. We can see the bending moments for the beams and if you would like to see for any particular story you can go to the story mode and you can choose to go to 2F level. We can see the slab loading direction actually which is unnecessary right now so let us undisplay that so many values are there we can choose to have maximum values to be displayed on the screen by member for each member and if you would like to see only the story level and we can choose this last one so only the story is displayed then in case of uh, the plate elements that we have generated so we can get the forces from here shear forces bending moment in the x and y direction then we can see the wall forces so for that we need to get the edge entity there are the wall forces at the top and bottom of the second floor level. Shear forces in the Y and Z direction, local direction and bending moment diagrams. So that's about the uh, results which we can display on the screen. We can also get these results in the form of table from the table tree menu. All we need to do is expand the results section, analysis section, and we can double click to open any of the table. This is the table right at the bottom and we can choose and right click to export this table into Excel sheet. We can also copy a part of this table and paste it into the Excel sheet. This is the result for the static dead load and we can similarly go on for the combination of maximum strength envelope so this is the result for this particular node that has been selected similarly we can look at the applied forces and the beam result as well remember so let us initialize the structure and click on a beam so now for this particular beam the program has provided the results in five parts and we can get the story tables from here there are story result parameters firstly that we can set so that the program will automatically tell us if it is going beyond the coded limits so here we can select the design standard if the design standard that we want is not available over here then we can simply provide the values by ourselves here these are the analysis results that we can get uh, story drift will be based on the drift on the center of mass we can change that which will be either maximum drift of outer extreme points or maximum drift of all vertical limits so for seismic we can choose this option and we can give an allowable ratio over here any importance factor that we would like to apply so we can change this to one then we will go to the irregularity let us skip this part and we will just click on OK and we will look at the, the result for the story drift right now. This is the table for the story drift. The program has checked with the limit of 0.015 that's right over here and uh, let's look at the result for the seismic load. Basically we are looking at the drift at the center of mass so seismic load. So again for the seismic load it is OK. In case of wind, it is still fine. So that is about the story drift table that we can get. Right click to take them to Excel sheets.